Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices and we'll be looking at the DAX and the AEX and the uh, FTSE but I'd like to start with the S&P 500 first because there's a very good chance that there's a turn in place now for uh, wave 3 high here this particular um, uh, wave 5 of 5 of 5 of 3 here the intermediate degree 3 so you can see that sort of sharp move down overnight there and that's starting to confirm as five waves. Um, it is possible, i just point out too, that um, this being here a top of a third wave, an A wave, a B wave and a C wave down to here uh, and then another move up through to here. Uh, and I'll talk about that in just a moment, but uh, there is uh, a high probability that we've got a turn in point now and if we just go to the uh, hourly chart as such here, um, this this is what I wanted to talk about here just a little bit, just so you're all on the same page and say if you're watching the other video on the US video. So we were looking at um, wave four being here and then looking for uh, this wave five being up here. So wave three, an A and a B, uh, a C, a D and an E for wave 4 here and then up for wave 5. It's a bit scrappy all of this here. Um, so I was thinking that um, just uh, putting, just removing this here for a moment, um, looking at this as wave 3 here and then an A wave here, a B wave over to here and then five waves for a C wave down here. Now we do, when I made the video for the US we'd only had three waves down and we're looking for five waves down so it appears we've, we've got that five waves now or, or we're in the last of that sort of fifth wave area here. So what that means is it means that um, the move down is in five waves so it can be as like I said an A wave over here, a B wave over here and a C wave here. And from that point there, it is possible for it, once this is finished here, to, for this to move up here, okay? The other count for this, which is probably more likely, is that the five waves down here will be wave one and then wave two here. So we've got this five wave move down here um, as wave C um, or wave one here. So what that means at the end of the day, though, is that when we do have, when we find that five wave low here and we put this trigger underneath of it here, then that will be the trigger to short. It'll be that simple. And um, yes, we can get better trades, you know, shorts up here and so on and so on and so on. But now we have five waves coming down through here. This low will be a trigger here. So if I just go to the tick chart here, um, this is where we were this morning and looking at this is one and two and three and looking at this is four and then we've come down for five here. I don't know if that's a low you haven't investigated or no, I need to go in a bit small. This is 10 ticks, but basically this, um, this move coming in here will be wave one. I don't know if that's a low yet, but we're looking for some sort of ABC uh, retracement um, back up into r realistically... Uh, well, just into this space here anyway. And then, so it makes, if, if you see the price move up here, then that's the low, okay? So that's the trigger to go short if it if it gets busted down, do you know what I mean? So uh, that's where we are with that. But in the bigger picture here, just for a moment too, if you can just sort of uh, use our imagination a little bit, the wave, th if that's the high here, then, and wave three, well, wave four will pull back 38.2% or to the wave four of one lesser degree. So that's quite a big sort of picture there, really, isn't it? You know, in terms of, um, you know, a move here. So how's that going to affect the uh, European markets as such? It's good, definitely going to have some sort of pull on it, isn't it? You know, so... Um, starting with, um, so, I, so today I want to have a look at some bearish counts in the European markets, okay? So with the Germany mid cap 50 here, which has been, uh, it's, it's, it's been a bit of a handy chart because um, it's sometimes it runs a little bit cleaner than, uh, than the other markets. But the first thing that comes to my mind is that um, the move down through here from this high here, is in three waves here, okay? So that makes it corrective here. <coughs> no matter how big and ugly this correction gets here, and 
It could also be finished in here too with an A wave here and a B wave here and a C wave here, but I'm not getting that within this structure here. So um, yeah, I can't go there. I can go, um, I can't even go to a B wave here. I can see that this is up in three waves here. I can see this is down in three waves here. So I've probably got to take the B wave from here. So I may even see a new little high here for this one here and then five waves down here with this here so that's sort of what I'm thinking so that would be um, and this would be for the European markets pretty much all of them uh, as such so we need to be uh, mindful of uh, of which side we're on here so obviously the short for this here would be uh, we could use the 25,000 here which is a medium level so that as a resistance could help with the short trades there I'm just going to uh, save that. I will go to the um, the hourly chart here. I think that's what we've been working on with this. <coughs> so, so just to sort of bring in the picture, I'm very happy with this from the top here being wave three. It could be a degree smaller than this too. This is intermediate degree. It could be minor degree three as well, but it doesn't really matter. Everything could be a degree smaller here. Um, it doesn't really matter, uh, it's just the count. So um, in this case, we've got a nice five wave structure down here for wave A, then an A and a B and a C for the wave B, and then one and two, and spike down for three, back for four, and down for five. So this is an A and a B and a C correction. So no matter what happens here, it'll all be part of a corrective move. Now, it could move up from, you know, it could just continue to move up from here, but I never really got that because this move here, um, was in five waves, one, two, three, four, five, there's an A and a B and a C wave here. So I've only really got three waves up here. So I called that the A wave, then I had an A, or three waves down, uh, then three waves up, and then five waves down here. So it fits very nicely as an A and a B and a C here for the B wave. And then I was looking for five waves up here, so one and two and three, and I was just assuming um, what's happened in a lot of the other cases in, in the markets is that um, this, this can be here. So I'll just put that in there. That little wave five there can be this um, part of this particular structure as one and two here. It may not be, um, but we'll see. We don't particularly want to go short here um, until we've got the... Uh, 25 is the resistance but that little move there can be the five wave structure here for this play, playing out here but I'll just leave it up here um, what I'll do is I'll just I will copy it and I'll just put that there as a um, as a possibility because I've seen that in the other markets but in a nutshell if that S&P is 500 is going to fall out of bed and go down then this count that I've got here with this mucking around here, whatever it does, but once it locks under here, we have to, you know, look at being on the short side of the market here. That's all I wanted to point out with this because, um, yeah, and I think that, um, you know, this particular structure here that we've got here um, can be pretty much applied to the other markets. Now, with some of the other markets, um, like the AEX and so on, they've moved up much higher, and the FTSE's moved up to about this as well. But I think that they've all got a possibility of being a B wave in place. It might not be the case, but that's what we're going to talk about today. Because if that S&P is going to you know, fall out of bed, so to speak, then we need to be on the right side at the right time. So what I'm about to show you may not um, be the case, but um, we need to, to, to look at it. So I'm going to start with the FTSE first. Not that it's any a big deal which one to start with, but... In this case here, um, once again, the move down through here on the first leg here is corrective. So I do expect it to move up. And yes, it can just continue to move up. But what would the S&P 500, you know, going down that far, pull on this market? So um, I think that we could have a turning point in, in here. So I know that we've been long. We've done all the right things in here because internally I looked at all of this. Um, so let's just go into, I think it was also the hourly chart, but this market can pull back down to 7.1 here, okay, so, or even 7.2 in this space. So, just get me organised here. So, this wave 3 here, um, 
<coughs> I know this is corrective here, the same the same as the the German fifty that we just looked at, you know, same basically same pattern. And then we've got this, we had this as, a, as an impulse wave up here. It was very scrappy, but it was five waves, so I had to look at it. And then I understood that this was an A and a B and a C here in three waves. So I knew that this was going to take the top out here. So we're looking for an entry here. So we've, we'll talk about entries all the way through here. Now the market's moved up here. So it's quite possible that this is wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and a little wave five to finish in line with everything else. Because this move down here is looking like it's... Um, um, uh, in five waves. So this particular stop here that we had here, we're going to move up into this space here. So this five waves down here, we're just going to lock it in uh, if there's any sort of profit to be had there. But at the same time too, we can use the low of this here um, as, as a possible starting point, as a trigger for because if we get five waves down here which it basically is so we're going to see some sort of bounce off here so put the stop and the trigger here once you see the market moving up here again so once it moves up here if it moves up in three waves 50 40 to 60 percent then it could come down through here at this point so that would give us take us out of our stop position our long positions into short positions uh, and then you would just put the stop above the previous high here or close to it. So that can flip us around to the short side here. Um, if this plays around here a little bit longer and then moves up, well then we'll be taking the high of this one out as the long trade here. So this is quite dangerous because we're trading against the trend, but um, the money's in the turn here as well. Um, so anyway, let's see how we go with that. That's one of them. The AEX is sort of similar to the FTSE in a way. So um, I just it might be as we go back to the daily chart here just for a second here. So, you know, the way that I viewed, uh, I understood this was corrective and it could be counted in different ways. It, in fact, this, this, I mean, this is probably the correct count here. I've actually got this on the hourly chart with this one in here, but this is the one that it can be at here. I, I just don't know, okay? But um, I could see that it was corrective. So, um, and it pulled back roughly to the to, to where we wanted it to, to be to. But I was always sort of curious that, um, you know, it may end up over here. Um, so I think what could occur now with the pressure on the S&P is for this to move down here. So what would happen then is that this B wave here can be here and the C wave over here and the A wave here. <coughs> so I think, you know, I think it's worthwhile because we've got that five waves down in the S&P, it, it can be wave C or wave one, but um, if that gets triggered over the next uh, session or two, then we're in a bearish mode. So that means that your European stocks and your European indices will be pulled in that direction. So I'm just going to save that as it is here. So we've got, you know, we're in a rock and a hard place here at the moment with this. And because we don't know, then we should protect you know, we're not we're not going into attacking mode and putting more contracts in. It's a time to, to 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 lock up for a second. This here too is also group the top of group one. So one, two, and three. If the market is going to fail, this is where it's going to fail at. If this becomes a tested support, then we know that we're going to get up to the five five at that stage. But we're in no rush to do that because we've basically got. The classic trading levels pattern is if I could just move it over here. So this is the arrival and the reaction. So we've got the arrival, the reaction, and then we're looking for the first high above the level. So normally we'd get an ABC here, and then we'd push up from there. If that's the case, then we'll be going long here. But what we're talking about at the moment is actually going short on this one here. And definitely we can get trapped. It can We can be triggered in here and then come back up and get... Uh, uh, you know, meet our, our entry point again. But we will we'll, we'll, we'll know where we are by then because of the S&P 500. I do think we need to take advantage of, I, we need to protect what we have and we need to take advantage of the, a possible turn here and we can always get back in on the long side 
uh, later using the classic trading levels pattern here on top of group one here. So if we come back to the hourly chart here for a moment. So um, let me just tidy up this a little bit. This never pulled back to its thing here. So yeah, I was looking at this as, um, I can't remember what I was looking at at the moment, but um, I'll just copy that because we've got five waves up here. So it can be one and two here, but at the same time here, um, if I can uh, just draw this out here, if this was going to be um, the move, this I mean, this is the low on the cash here. That's why I've got to take it from this low here. And I know that we have five waves up to this point here. So it would have to be an A wave to here, a B wave to here, and a C wave to here. I know that's really short and it doesn't look right and all the rest of it, and that's fine, okay? But um, there's things we can do. So that, uh, if you're long here, um, then uh, protect what you have at the moment. So that would be the next long trade to the upside. We may be able to get a better price here, okay? But at the same time, too, we need to be on the short side. So I don't know if that's the low there yet. Just check with the European markets. But you'll see that once this finish is coming down here, there will be a bounce here. Once you've got that bounce, then you can put this here one point below whatever that is here. And then that would be your short trade from this point here. Now, because this is in five waves, it's going to be an A and a B and a C wave here. <coughs> now... Um, with that uh, C wave here, we could, if you're short here, you can get trapped uh, uh, here. So there's two things that we need to look at here. First of all, from this low to this high here, these will be the areas that you need to focus on. One is this one here. Um, that's where it consolidates. That's where the first five waves can come to, actually. So if I take that there, this would be one, two, three, four, five to here. So if we're either going to get uh, three waves to here or five waves to here, if we get five waves to the 61.8% mark, then we know that we'll rally back and then we'll move down again from this point here. So um, yeah, we need to see, basically we need to see a setup on here. So this is a great place to get out of the trend if you've been long at the moment. And then we just wait for the setup here. In the meantime, you can take the short trade set up here. It may be a trap, um, so don't over trade. So if, it, if you get short here, then we'll wait one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll go on ABC and we'll look to short again on the ABC rally over this side and come down on this side here as well. Okay, so a bit messy. Let me just um, move these out of the way here a little bit. So... Okay, let's leave that at that. <clears throat> and the DAX, I mean, I did the FTSE and the AEX because they're kind of the same in a way. They're same but different. But the DAX is uh, different once again. So let me find that. Should be sitting here, the FTSE mid cap DAX. So this is the DAX here. So it's been in a bit more of a bearish correction here. So what we'd been looking for here was an A, B, C correction, an A and a B and a C here, um, as the wave four here. This is the 38.2% retracement level, so it can it come it can come down to the 11,800 here. <coughs> um, but also the fourth wave of one lesser degree is down here further. Now, I know that we've got this in here, and we're basically looking for this to move up here. But I can't see how it would move up there without the S&P 500. So today it was really about looking at the S&P 500 and looking at those first five waves down are either wave one or wave C. And we're gonna see the market bounce off those after those first five waves. And then if it comes down again, then we're gonna go into bear mode. So if this is going to go into bear mode, then obviously it's going to make new lows uh, here as well. So I'm just moving from our little bullish mode that we had going up here and trading that 
um, into a bearish mode now. So we need to get to a point where we can protect um, the situation, okay? So uh, let's just go into uh, the hourly chart maybe. Let's just check on that, okay. So wave three, we had this as an A and a B and a C wave. Not a problem, all good. Um, yeah, three waves. The only other thing that it can be is that if we look at this as sort of wave A here, wave one, wave two for the B, wave three here, which I've got just in there, wave four here, I'll move those out the way here, just leave these in here, wave three here, and A, B, C for an A and a B and a C wave here for wave four, and then down for wave five here. Um, so yeah, that's it. What I was also hoping for here, <clears throat> not that hope can do much for you except stress you out, um, the group one level here, the 12,300 here. So we've got 12,000, we've got 100, 200, and 300. If we got tested support on top of group one, then we can also go long from there. So I know that we've been long here already. So we're going to move that long over here to a short trade here. So this, this can be an A wave and a B wave and a C wave to here. We had it before as wave one here, then wave two here, then wave one looking up here and wave two back. And that's still all possible, but today's video is looking at the possible bearish side of things. So with the bearish side of things, I've just got that sitting here, but um, let me have a look on a tick chart. But basically what we want to do is that I suppose we could leave it there, but this five this five wave structure that we're looking down through here, I don't think that's five waves yet. I think I checked that before. But if it becomes five waves, then it becomes um, a bearish thing at that. So I'm just going to leave that here because even if there is a, uh, if that's just three waves down, we'll check in a minute. Um, we still want to get five. So it'll still be lower into here. So we'll get the bounce off the 200 here, and the bounce off the 200 here would see an uh, small A, B, and C correction, maybe coming up to this space here somewhere, maybe even into this space, but um, then down again. So it's that, that low there <clears throat> is the trigger. So to get you out of your uh, long positions here and to get yourself into a short position here. And if we're wrong and it's still bullish, well then we'll be looking to go long if we get support on 12.3, okay? But there is a case here for a bearish move and I think we need to protect any longs and we need to be on the short side. We need to trade what we see um, at the time there. So let's um, take a little closer look into this on one of the tick charts here. <clears throat> Okay, so this is 100 ticks. So the other markets that have got um, <coughs> five waves down, the DAX, oh, sorry, the S&P 500. So um, here I can count wave one, wave two here, and then there's five waves in here, so I would call that wave one and two and three and four and five here, okay? So this can actually be, uh, realistically here, this can be, not wave one, but an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave here. So it can be bullish at this point, but we would need to see that move up from there. Um, what we're looking for at the moment though, because of the US markets is wave four moving up. This this m might move down here a bit further. I need to pull that apart and, and consider what's actually going on in this here, but it could come down a bit lower here. Um, but, uh, yeah, in a session or two, we'll know if this is five waves here because we'll get the fourth and the fifth, and then we'll get an A and a B and a C here, and then we can look to short here. So there's going to be five waves down. It will probably end up being from here, either at the 12 two, there'll be a bounce, which will be the third wave back to the fourth. So I think if we take it down just a little bit lower here, then we can look for the 61.8% retracement level to come into this space here. So we've got plenty of time. That's one of the main things that I wanted to point out here in terms of we would need to see five waves down here, then some type of corrective rally here, 
and then we can look to short. But what I can say is that uh, the short trade will come under number five here. So you don't really have to do much. You just have to wait for this to play out and jiggle around here for, a, for in the next session. And then the market in one way or another um, will be back up here. You would only go long again on this top here, but you could go, because this is a 50, 60% retracement level, you can go long on 12,772 as a tested support. So you can get in earlier, can add on 80, you can add on 300, and you can build in through these levels here. Um, but while we're under this level, we need the rest of this structure to complete. We need to see some sort of corrective rally here. Um, so that low here is the safe trigger to the short side here. Um, if we do get five waves here, then you can start looking for the ABC correction here and start bringing in short positions uh, here. If you can't follow the wave count up, then it normally works like this, some sort of A, B and C wave here. The best you could probably do is draw a line through here. And when the market comes down here, we'll bounce back up, it will come through here, we'll test back there. And so, you know, this, this is the sort of normal way that it would move through that particular trend line through here. Uh, so I'll leave that with you on this on this note here and keep an eye on the S&P 500. Alrighty, cheers.